today we are going to be taking a look at the new Lionel 2023 Volume 1 catalog. Today I'm joined by an old time friend, Tony. We're going to be tackling this together, giving our reviews of the catalog. So let's get started. Uh, it's no secret by now, the, the two big engines in this release. Um, so we're going to skip through. We both entered our chance to win the big boy. We're going to jump right in. Starting off with the Vision Big Boys. You have some pretty nice options. Um, I already have a Big Boy, so for me this is not really not anything I need. Um, the price isn't that bad, I guess. <laughs> it's, That's uh, debatable <laughs> on who you ask in the Sabi, for sure. But it's not terrible. Uh, I mean, I don't need the features that it comes with, so I'm going to pass on this. I'm going to pass on this one, too. <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you think? It's a cool engine. Don't get me wrong, just the price could be a little less. Yeah. Agreed. But I hate how they're using the four-digit addressing as a feature. That's not a feature. Sorry. But I do actually like the the one with the elephant ears. It does look really cool like that. As well as the Greyhound with the... I wonder if they actually yellow. had Greyhound big boys, though. I don't think so. I think it's a fantasy scheme, but... You guys should let us know in the comments if they had a Greyhound big boy when you watch this video. But don't blast us, please. <laughs> I'm going to skip on the cars. I, like I said, I do have a big boy, but I like using mine as freight, so I don't really have a need for UP cars right now. Plus, I don't need to spend any more money that I don't need to, <laughs> so... Moving on, the set is kind of cool. I mean, you got the big boy vision line. You got the vision reefers, the vision stock cars, sound caboose. Or I'm sorry, sound box car and the vision caboose. There's a lot of stuff in this set, but the price is yeah. a little steep. Yikes. <laughs> um, Just yikes. But, I mean, I it could be a good deal. It might be. If especially you, If you go to like a good hobby shop, yeah. you can get a good deal. If you could pre-order it. You might be able to come out as a win on this one. But anyway. The Vision Reefers. These are cool. Um, Do you have any? No. I don't really... The price is just not for me. $500 <laughs> for three cars. I mean, I guess they make cool sounds, but... For me, I don't like these Vision cars because for me it requires work. Because <laughs> you have to flip flop between programming and playing the sounds while you're trying to run the trains. And for me, it's just kind of a dis distraction, in my opinion. I mean, I've never also used these, so it might be easier than I think. But uh, I don't know. These are cool, but not for me. Uh, the stock cars, these are cool. I do like the Pennsylvania here. They look pretty neat, but... I do not like the sheep sounds. I'd rather have something else, a different animal. <laughs> I feel like sheep are just kind of annoying. <laughs> so for me, I'm gonna pass on these. But these are cool. I do like I do like stock cars, and I do want stock cars because I have none in my collection. But uh, sheep, I don't like sheep. So <laughs> we're gonna pass on these. What do you think? They're cool. I agree with you. The PRR ones are pretty neat. They might be the best paint scheme ones here, but the UP ones look kind of accurate too. I do, I do like the UP as well. That is kind of neat. Livestock dispatch. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. That's cool. Price is not cool though, but if you pre-order it, and go do a good deal, you'll too. always get better prices. So anyway, now on to the good stuff. Here it is. We all knew this was coming. Um, the new Dreyfus Hudson. This one is a bittersweet for me because. I've always wanted a Hudson ever since I saw it as a kid in the I Love Toy Trains video. I've always fell in love with this engine. But I expected it to come in a purple box one day, not <laughs> an orange box. Uh, but I, I guess I'm kind of getting what I wanted because this is an XMTH tooling. So, I mean, I guess it's a good thing. I don't know. I'm, it's bittersweet to me because I, I, I want this engine. I'm going to get it. Is no secret. Um, it's just 
it would have been nice to be an MTH, but I guess it would be cool to have a Lino version. Um, well, look at the Lino one. Compared to MTH, you get the whistle steam and you get the water scoop effect on this one. Yeah, if you get the PT tender. Oh, uh, right. Um, I think you also, you might be getting the variable ash pan glow effect. I think. Probably so. But yeah, the PT tenders do get the scoop effect, which is really neat. Um, what do you think of the PT tenders on the Hudsons? For me, I don't, I don't know. They're kind of cool. It looks kind of weird to me. They look more better on the Niagara, though. I agree. How about these? These are these are fantasy, correct? I yeah. Think. Uh, that's fantasy. The New York Central did not have that color on Dreyfus Hudsons. It's all right, but for me, the one I'm gonna get is the OG. On the next page. The the one to get, in my opinion, uh, oh, we're lagging. <laughs> Great. <laughs> but this is the uh, 5452, I believe, with the uh, the disc wheels and the blue stripes. Um, yeah, 5452 here. If you guys, blue stripes. If you guys want the most accuracy, this would probably be the model to get. Just because of the paint seam, it's correct. But as we all know with line L, the color could be off. But we'll just have to wait and see on that one. Well, that's the good thing since it's an XMTH tooling. I'm hoping it'll be made in the MTH factory. And they usually have <clears throat> pretty accurate paint results. The car is a line L, though, I think. Yes, and that's the one thing I'm nervous about <clears throat> since the engine is XMTH and it'll probably be made in their factory. I'm wondering if the blue of the stripes will match up the blue with the cars. Which kind of scares me, because knowing Lionel, they could probably mess that up very easily. <laughs> um, but the cars are new tooling, apparently. So, I mean, I don't, I have no experience with these 21-inch passenger cars. It kind of looks like K-Line tooling. Maybe so, but... Just by looking at the observation car, it kind of looks like a K-Line one. That'd be kind of nice. The one thing that kind of annoys me is that the price is nine hundred, almost $1,000 for a four-pack, which is absolutely absurd. There's no reason that they should be charging that much. I mean, I don't have these cars right now anyway, so I mean, I doubt they're that they're worth that price. But I mean, Lionel's asking for it, um, but they're probably not worth that. But I don't really have a choice because I need the cars anyway. <laughs> so I'm kind of backed into a corner here because I really don't feel like having to go through the trouble of trying to find them online used. But you get the four pack, a two pack. And the Station Stowns Diner Car. Um, I guarantee you that Diner Car will have some cool sounds in it. So I might do the four pack and the two pack. Or, knowing myself, I'll probably just go all in and just get the whole set. They're, they're coming for you, Matt. Because this, yeah. if folks don't know, this is the 1938 Century Limited. And it's a 1948 version, too. So yeah, they're coming for us right now. I'm probably going to get the whole dang thing. But. Do It'd you, probably be an awesome set. Do you happen to know what this would, this little script thing would be down here, Anthony? That's an RPO car. So, so rail, rail postal service. Oh, uh, you're right. Because look at the small door. That gives yeah, it away. You're right. Um, the one thing I like about this set is there's no like baggage car. <clears throat> and I hate baggage cars. <laughs> I just feel like it takes away from the truck. Like, I like to have my cars have windows. So I don't know. I'll probably wind up getting suckered in and getting the whole dang thing. It'd probably be a cool but, buy if the colors are completely right. I hope they're right because I'm going to be scared about that. But uh, I, I'm i probably just going to do the whole set because it looks sweet with eight cars. And I've waited for this engine for my whole life. so I, It'd probably look awesome. This is my moment. Train layout. <laughs> I mean, the price is 16 or 17 I mean, it'll be better if you pre-order it through a good dealer. And so. honestly, that's not horrible no. for line out these days. No. and I, like Because I said, if we... No, the controversial Strasbourg 90 with the price and all that. This price doesn't look too terrible. Yeah. But anyway, definitely getting one of these Hudsons and probably the whole set. If not, maybe a four and a two pack. But yeah, this is a must buy for me because this has been on my train bucket list my whole life. So this is a, a must have. Moving on to the Russian Decapods. Um, I really like these. I am loving this eerie one right here. It's really cool. I... I love the white walls with the blue, and it's got the swinging bell, which I think is awesome. It's not big enough, I guess, to fit the whistle steam, so there's no whistle steam in here, but that's okay, because I've never had a swinging bell feature, so that'll be pretty cool. 
but I just love the colors on this. Um, and hopefully it has that firebox, firebox glow down here. That'd be pretty awesome. But yeah, this is just a really cool looking engine. And this price isn't too terrible either. No. Uh, and if you pre-order, like I said, it'll be a good deal. Which one do you like? Hmm. We should go do them first and see. Let's so see. Minneapolis, Northern, or Northfield and Southern. The Philly and Redding. The font really looks like Redding and Northern font, but I guess Andy Moore copied it. <laughs> <laughs> you have the Seaboard. That's a cool one. And a USA one. I don't know. I feel like that's a waste of a tooling. I mean, they could have put some other road name there, but they put a USA one. But this one might be the best one, folks. Frisco? This is the engine at the Illinois Railroad Museum that they run, the 1630. Hmm. So if folks have been to Illinois and seen this engine, this might be the engine for you. I do because like this. it is a pretty great engine to see in real life. And this is looking pretty promising right now. I do like this front end on this one, a little detail down here. And he's got the... Um, doghouse? The doghouse on yeah, top, too, cool. which is also realistic in real life. Yeah. So, oh, oh whoop. I dropped my computer. <laughs> so this is looking pretty sweet for but, the 1630. Yeah, I'm probably going to wind up ordering this Erie one just because I love this... Blue. Hopefully it comes with like a Russian iron blue, like on the triplex. That'd be kind of neat. It makes sense. It would match it. Um, plus, I just got that Erie Hobo Sounds box car, so I kind of put two and two together. That would work now you out need well. an Erie caboose. I do need an Erie caboose, especially when I get the triplex. Whatever happens to that. Next, we have the PRR I one, another decapod. Um, <laughs> I do like these. At first, I saw them with the long haul tender. I thought they looked kind of goofy. Um, but after seeing it with the short haul tender, it looks way better. It looks a lot better, and I really like this one. Um, this is also XMTH tooling. It um, is? Mm hmm. They didn't know that. All of this catalog is pretty much MTH tooling, <laughs> on this, except for the Camelbacks, which we'll get to in a minute. But yeah, I do, I do like this one a lot better with the short haul tender. Um, I love the PRR. For me, this is a maybe as of right now. We'll see. Um, I wasn't sure on, on the looks of this, but after seeing it again with the tender, the short haul tender, it looks way better. The long haul just doesn't look right on these at all. Um, Even though that's how they were. Yeah. In some cases, back in the day. But these have whistle steam, uh, kind of the legacy standard features. Um, hopefully they don't mess up the color on this PR. I mean, the custom run class A's, they look beautiful, but that green was just a little too bright, in my opinion. So hopefully they get these colors right. Uh, but this is a maybe as of right now. We'll see. But it looks looks pretty cool. Price is decent. Could be a little bit better. But again, could but be I'm, a little better. But I'm sure if MTH were to catalog this right now, it'd probably, about, probably be about the same price anyway. So it's actually not too terrible if I had to guess. All right. Moving on, we have the 484 Santa Fe Northerns. These are also XMTH. Um, I do like these a lot. It would have been nice if MTH still had these in their back pocket because I would probably get one. But there's just way too many things in this catalog that I can <laughs> afford to get all of it. So we're going to have to pass on this one this year, unfortunately. But And the price is a little steep Yeah, for a Norton. Almost two grand. That's kind of high. But this one's cool. It's got, I guess this is the restoration one. It's got the gloss paint. This is the one that just came back, too. Yeah. It came back last year. So uh, it's nice. What do you think about the two fantasies down here? Obviously, they're fantasy. So, you know, the Santa Fe wouldn't have painted them up like that. But the blue goose is kind of cool. Yeah, I do like these. There, they do look nice. But for me, it's just the price, and I have other priorities in this catalog. So for me, I'm gonna skip on these. But they are cool. Maybe the next run. If you had to get one though, which one would you get? Probably the uh, restoration, maybe. I'd probably do that one, too, because we probably see it at one point in our lives. Yeah, probably the restoration. Although, the, I do like the black, like the all-blacked-out one, too. It's kind of cool. All right, moving on, we have the Camelbacks. Uh, these, I think Camelbacks are ugly, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't like them whatsoever, yes. so. I mean, the price is great on these. I mean, they're asking... Uh, 700 700 and again if you pre-order you get a better deal so that's not terrible i do actually really like this atlantic city one the colors are awesome looks maybe great. it's fantasy probably no. is fantasy but i think i think that looks pretty cool it does look pretty cool 
Um, I don't. Know, I just hate Camelbacks to be honest with you. So <laughs> so did the crew. So you're not alone there. I don't know. For me, uh, these are a pass. But I do like how they offer some more affordable Legacy steam engines, though. All right, so moving on, we have Legacy Diesels coming out with a bang. We have the E8s and E9s. Uh, we have New York Central, Southern Pacific, Southern, and the Amtrak. The Amtrak one is so nice. The Amtrak one is I cool. love the pointless arrow. And you have some beacon light detail up here, which is pretty neat. Um, uh, you you need to get that New York Central, buddy. That's uh, that's nice. I might need to get the New York Central one. If you come to New Jersey, you have to get that one. <laughs> For folks who don't know, the NYC forty eighty three is actually restored in Boone, New Jersey, by the United Railroad Historical Society of New Jersey. And you can still see that unit today painted up in that paint scheme. So it's pretty. It's still around and it's very, very, very cool in real life. So hopefully Lionel gets it right and someone can buy it and bring it. You can buy it because you need that. I also do like the Southern. But the did, one. Did the Southern have E8? I think so. Oh, it says E9 too. So maybe it's an E9. Maybe. Could be. I don't know. The big ticket item here, though, is the return of the almighty Aberdeen, Carolina, and Western set. I guess the railroad just acquired the E8s or E9s. I'm not sure which ones they are, but I guess these are their newest engines. It says E8. AA. Okay, so E8, yeah. Um, and these are real, too. They are real, and I missed out on the F F9s that came out last catalog, and I'm kicking myself ever since for not getting them because the paint is absolutely awesome that metallic color is sweet um the price on these is 1200 which isn't bad um you get uh both powered units uh smoke units in both i think it's kind of cheesy that they only have sounds in the front engine but i mean i guess i could see why look at that curve radius though anyone can buy these then Oh, 36? Uh, I wouldn't believe that. <laughs> hey, you never know. You never know, though. Um, but I'm probably going to get these just because I missed out on the last run, and, and I do love that color. The only thing I'm nervous about is Anthony showed me a picture yesterday of the actual version, and that stupid headlight is covering the nice logo right in the center of it, so it kind of ruins it. It's also realistic, though, unfortunately. Yeah, but it's, why would they do that then? They could have just, I don't know. They could have just kept the one headlight. So or yeah, that's, the one. that's a little disappointing because it's going to look a little goofy with the headlight blocking the main wheat logo. <laughs> um, but we'll see. I'm probably still going to get these. And then they're also offering them with a two-pack of sound cars. And it's got di uh, dialogue from the crew down in Carolina or up up in North Carolina. And I do like these cars. Um, and they also come with a, a dome car. The super dome is nice. That, that does look pretty sick. Those cars are so cool in real life. So, yeah, I wound up pre-ordering the other two pack from the last run. So if I do get these, I'll have the five car set, which will look pretty nice. If I wind up do spring it on these, I, like I said, I'm a little disappointed about the logo thing, but Hey, We'll work that out. Uh, but these are awesome looking engines, and I'm glad they re, re came out with these because I figure I think that when the F units came out, people liked them, but they weren't sure. And then everybody realized that these are pretty awesome sets, and then everybody started jumping on them. So glad they gave us another chance to get them here. Next, we got the ES 44s. I really like the uh, the BNs on the left page here. The Conrail is super nice too, but I think uh, Lionel is starting to get a little bit pricey on their diesels at seven fifty. That's pretty high for a diesel, in my opinion. But anyway, and these are all fantasy scheme too. Are they? Except for the KCS ones. You think these are fantasy? Yeah, Conrail didn't have ES forty fours. They were out before they got oh. produced. Well, I didn't and know the that. C and W and the BN. I that, know that. And that BNSF paint does not exist either. So these are fantasy schemes. I just think they're good looking, but which one did you get? None? <laughs> Probably not. Just, Fair enough. Just since I see trains on the road Fair almost enough. daily, so. 
All right, moving on, you have the NW2s. These are cool. These are kind of cool. Nothing really interests me. I mean, the Lehigh Valley is pretty nice, actually. And the Burlington Northern is pretty cool, too. I love trains that have the strobe lights on them. It looks like these come with the... Um, like almost like spark arresters up there. Probably when running in the mountains, you know, that's a that safety actually thing. That looks kind of cool. I like the number boards, how I, they're flipped I, up like I that. Do too. That's different. You know what? I might have to reconsider this. To be honest with you, Anthony. You don't see these back east. The number boards flipped up like that. It's kind of cool. It had to be a western thing. Because look at the Lehigh Valley. The yeah. number boards are on the engine. That Great Northern is kind of cool too. I don't know. The paint skin's pretty cool on that Great Northern. That's six hundred bucks for a switcher, though. That's pretty pretty high. I bet you can get it for like five fifty. That's still more than I'd like to pay. <laughs> but yeah, they got some pretty cool paint schemes on here. The but... Great Northern one looks really cool. Yeah, we'll go back. <clears throat> yeah, the Great Northern looks looks nice. And the Ann Arbor one's cool. This too. one's cool. Yeah, I like them, but not for the price. <laughs> All right, moving on. You have the GP twenties. These are XMTH. Um, they have to be. Yeah, they are. Uh, these are all right. I think the the uh, front. Uh, I'm drawing a blank. Help me out. This. <laughs> the cab? <laughs> Not the cab. The glass. The window. The front window is all one big piece. I think that looks kind of goofy, but. And most of us are probably questioning what is Kyle <laughs> like. Yeah. Uh, that's stupid. If Lionel could tell us what Kyle is, that would be fantastic. I don't know. I think that was a waste of a waste of a option for a paint scheme we'll see if they even come up with that probably one. not or produce it i'm sure somebody named kyle will probably order these but they're gonna need a decent amount of kyle's <laughs> then the burlington one is cool i like the burlington the santa fe one. blue is always nice yeah and they have two pen Centrals. that's cool there you go that's up your rally yep uh the cotton belt one's kind of interesting too but now, i like that last one's interesting kansas city terminal didn't even know that i it existed it does look pretty cool I like this one, how it has more detail on the roof, too. The Penn Central is kind of plain and boring. I think the fan, they don't have dynamics, that's why. Ah. I think that's what the big piece is for. The radiator on top? Yeah. Maybe so. All right, moving on, you have the uh, camelback, the high-end so. sets. Um, these are kind of cool. What's the price on these? 1000 That's 1100 That is pretty damn good. That's not bad. Plus, you get this cool little... Bo I like that box car, actually. For, That's neat. For what you get in this set, this set is definitely a bang for your buck. You got an engine and five detail cars. That's pretty good. I like that bobber caboose, too. That's probably why the price isn't like twelve. You should get this set, buddy. And it's got whistle steam. Our old friend Bob should get this set, <laughs> if he still collects. Because he's Mr. Lehigh Valley, too. I like that bobber caboose. That's cool. Uh, next, you have the hot metal set. This is kind of... Interesting. Not for me, personally. It's a real railroad, too. Is it? Yeah, it's in know. western Pennsylvania. Huh. Like Pittsburgh. I didn't know that. I guess that makes sense. I do yep. like... Pittsburgh. Oh. It says on the page. Look at you. I do like these uh, hot metal cars. I do believe that these are XMTH tooling as well. They have to be. Because I know they used to have the hot metal car offerings. They're asking 1300 which I think is kind of a bit much, in my opinion. It's probably because of the hot metal cars, that's why. It could be. Because MTH prices are always what, like a hundred? Well, they want two hundred for one metal car. That's, yeah, that's, that's not worth it. That's not gonna happen. That's buddy. a lot of money. All right, next we have the Iron Hippo <laughs> Legacy set, and this is pretty cool, actually. Um, you got the that, that price is pretty decent. Yeah, you got the I one, um, and you got let's see, six cars and a Vision Caboose, I believe. I now, a now this caboose. is the set you should get. I would if but. it has the the red roof on top. If it's the black one, I might pass. But, but you uh, have a good bank for your buck with this one. Yeah, they're asking twenty two. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I didn't see the price. Oh. Whoops. Well, it's still not a terrible price. I do like these GLA hoppers. Um, I guess they're offering these new. They call them Vision Line cabooses. I guess they come with sounds and whatnot. I think 300 bucks for a caboose is absurd, but... It kind of looks like MTH tooling, too. That is MTH tooling, but I have this caboose. Oh, you do? I sure do. Nice. Probably not going to buy another one, but... Not at that price. 
No. So you have the Rock Island Quad Cities Rocket Legacy set, which looks kind of cool. Um, looks kind of goofy with two passenger cars only. Well, the Rock Island and on big trains. That's uh, why. Well, there you go. Um, Unless someone can correct me on that. <laughs> then you have the Fruit Express Legacy set. So you got the, the engine, which looks pretty cool. The price doesn't look pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. What does that say? 2300 2500 Oh, wow. And then you get the three, well, you get one Vision car and then two regular oh, cars. Oh, you got the Vision caboose, though. Yeah, Vision caboose. <laughs> I really wish there wasn't so much other good stuff in this catalog because I would really consider picking up the Northern. But like I said, I have to have to save some money somewhere. So maybe next time. All right, now we have some rolling stock. I do really like this... Uh, the issue is just Canadian Pacific flat car. Here. The issue is just the price. Yeah, it's one sixty for a flat car. Like That's if we look at Atlas O, same kind of tooling, kind of like they charge a hundred bucks. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll pick one of these up. Then you have some PS Five gondolas. These are all right. I mean, I don't really need any more gondolas in my opinion. They're good looking though. Yeah, they are good looking. I mean, they have an eerie one. That'd be kind of cool with the. Uh, Area engine. The, the dust, uh, yeah, decapod. The Lehigh Valley one's cool, too. That is nice. Uh, we got some Conrail up there, too. Next, you have some grain door boxcars. I do not need any more boxcars. <laughs> no more boxcars, please. Uh, these do have a... Do they have a CP one? I don't know. Because CP was the one that came up with this idea, I think. It looks like they have the load in there, too. Uh, do they have CP? No. They don't. They do not. They got a Sioux line one, though. It's kind of close enough. I like this uh, Minneapolis and St. Louis one down there. It's kind of cool. All right, next we have the uh, N8 cabin cars. I do like the yellow roof one. That one's kind of nice. If I wind up picking up the i1, maybe I'll get this one. We'll see. The price is a little high, though. For something that was once, like, 70 bucks. <laughs> yep. And it's doubled. But we're not going to get into that. They do have a Penn Central one. That looks pretty cool. That would go good with my Atlas GP40, right? That would be kind of cool. Yeah. It would match it. Yeah, it would. But uh, Could do the Conroe one, too. Yeah. Which one do you like? I did Penn Central one. Yeah, that's neat. I like this one, the red one. What do you think about that? Is that even realistic? I have no idea. As you know. You're I'm more of a New York Central guy, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now we have the oh, GLA hoppers. Hopper cars for your Dash 8. <laughs> yes. I do like these Pennsylvania ones. Those are pretty cool. I also do like the Interstate. Coal goes to war. I like that little oh, that's printing cool. on there. Um, obviously, coal, you know, World War Two. I mean, <laughs> go hand Big in hand. Deal. Yeah. Um, I don't know much about the Interstate Railroad, do you? No, not really. I guess that would still be Steam Arrow, though, right? Uh, I think it would be. I think it'd be pretty cool. Um, to find out what the interstate railroad was, and it was actually a railroad that ran between Virginia and, and Tennessee, Tennessee area. So, kind of a southern railroad, I guess. Yeah, it can go at your 630 if you get those cars. <laughs> True. Uh, and look at that logo, guys. What does that say? Coal goes, Cole goes to, to war. That's pretty that's cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's a nice touch by line out right there. I might have to pick these up. I mean, they look for, really cool. Buffalo Creek ones are pretty cool, too. but uh, It doesn't say that logo, though. No. No, the Cold Ghost Award is really cool. Uh, 200 bucks is a little steep, in my opinion, for two cars. But, I mean, also... You can if probably you, get it for cheaper. Yeah, if you pre-order it, you'll get a better deal. So, I'll probably get the interstate ones. And what's the one on the bottom? Uh, Westmoreland Coal? No idea. Yeah. Something else to look up. But I do like the Pennsylvania ones. I don't see any coal load in these, which is kind of concerning, because I'm not paying $200 for... Two hoppers with no coal. They, I mean, better, they better be metal they, at that point. They better include them because that would be some stuff right there. Um, but yeah, might consider picking up the Pennsylvania and the interstate ones because I like the coal goes to war. Uh, that'd be really cool for your coal drag, especially with the I-1. Um, next, you have a milk car. Uh, the milk cars are nice. I wonder if they fixed the truck or coupler issues. Um, yeah, that's a great question. Line out if you fix them because <laughs> I have a couple of those cars and they don't like to hook up no, with the other ones. The milk cars are nice though, and then we have some more rotary gondolas, these are all right. These are for people that have like 
more modern stuff. So me. <laughs> yeah, you have that. I got a lot of modern stuff. Next, we have the standard O stuff. The prices. These are a lot better, or somewhat better. Oh, 50, 50 bucks. bucks. Not too shabby. I have the UP one. It's a decent car. It's not It's like terrible. tooling from the 90s. I, yeah, I think it's K-Line? No, Lino I don't, I don't know. I'm not really sure what the history on these is. But uh, they're all right. They're if you want if you're looking for more affordable stuff and scale stuff, these are these are great options. Yeah, fifty bucks is not terrible at all. Especially if you pre-order them, you could probably get that steel large. load is kind of cool. This one, yeah, for non a non-scale one, that's pretty cool. That's cool. I like this. Uh, I like this car, the little tree logo. That's cool. They have a uh, log load. That'd be kind of cool. Moving on, you got the traditional O. We might end it here. Nothing really crazy going on here. Um, you have the Mikados. What do you think about these? Are these are not bad? I mean, these are pretty nice actually. Pretty nice. Seven hundred bucks. Not too bad. Could be a little better. Yeah. But... Then you have the goats, <laughs> the O six O's T's. These little things can pull. Uh, uh, RBP. He had a video. I think he pulled like 41 cars with these or something. These little guys are tanks. Um, they can really pull. They can really pull. Yeah. I, I have the... I wish they changed up the road names. I mean, it's the same ones from last catalog, which is kind of disappointing because I would have liked to see some other ones. Cause they should have done that book when he's Terminal 1 again. That would have been cool. That would have been a great book. I would have, I would have canceled my Alaska one and got that one. But I do like this Alaska ones. The red roof is nice. The red's cool, so... I have the Alaska one on order. Still waiting for that. That Lehigh Valley Coal Company one is cool. Where? Oh, this one? Yeah, I was actually debating on, on these two. That's a cool one. But I figured you could do more with the Alaska one. So, But yeah, I'm still waiting for this one to come in. And you have the Bud cars. These are kind of cool. I think they're MTH. No, I think Lionel had these tools for a while. Um, these are cool though. The New Havens are kind of cool. Um, that's a bright red though. Yeah, that's for uh, SP. That's uh, kind of odd. I do like the Alaska ones. Those are kind of cool, but these aren't scale. I don't think, right? Probably not. Nah. Yeah, probably doubt that. But they're cool. Looks like they have smoke in them. Maybe. New tooling, all new product. Empty edge. Uh, they might have smoke. I don't know. The New Haven one is probably the best yeah. one. Uh, then you have some other stuff. You got yeah. some Jeevos. You got the GP20s. This is kind of, yeah, Disney stuff. Eh. Not really my thing. Toy Story, Frozen. This is nothing. It's nothing more towards me. the younger kids. Yeah. This makes me upset because I would love a scale flat car with some John Deere tractors on them, but then they give us this nonsense. So, <laughs> Lionel, if you're listening. Please make a scale flat car with tractors on them because that would be really cool. Um, I do like these. They won't give us a scale flat car. What is that though? A GP30? The engine? 38? Uh, yep, GP38. Yes, sir. It's nice they brought that tooling back. Yeah. Don't you have one of those? I do. And Chelsea says That's what I thought. That's, um, that's, that's from like 2013 though. That's funny. That's a nice set though. Well, yeah. I really would have loved that they did a scale flat car with tractors on them because I want, I want to have a tractor train with the old school John Deere's. That'd be awesome. <laughs> then you have this one, one one seventy is a little steep. Yeah, that's kind of a lot for this. I do, I love John Deere, but that's just a no go for me. But a scale flat car with tractors on them, I want that so bad. Lionel, if you made a four pack, I'd buy three of them just because I love tractors. Um, these would be cool if they were scale. These little wood-sided reefers, that'd be awesome. I don't know why John Deere would have a reefer car, but hey. Whatever, whatever. works. <laughs> I just love that paint right there. Um, Hogwarts. Graffiti uh, train. That was kind of cool. Where'd you see that at? That, that pass oh, is that fast right? Never mind. That was graffiti. Oh, uh, yeah. Because we just glanced by it for a second. 
Well, I think we'll end the catalog here because there's really not much else going on. You you got like the accessories and the escades, but yeah, nothing. As I, you folks know, we don't really do escades. We mainly stick to O. Yeah. So nothing nothing else really going on there. I mean, you could always go on the internet and find it yourself. But um, yeah. <laughs> what do you think of the catalog? It's an improvement from prior years. Yeah. It's my opinion, at least. <clears throat> what would you get? Definitely the Dreyfus, the thirty eight Hudson. That'd be cool. That would be the one thing you'd get. Yeah. So for me, put, put it next to the K line Hudson I have. That'd be pretty neat. So for me, I'm gonna get the Hudson for sure. Um, probably wind up getting all the cars because I'm a sucker like that. Um, definitely ordering the Erie Decapod. The I one Decapod is a maybe, um, and the Carolina Aberdeen set is a strong possibility. Um. And I might pick up those GLA hoppers as well. But we'll see when it's time to put the order in. But yeah, this is a pretty good catalog. I like it. I'm pretty happy about the Dreyfus. I mean, like I said, it's bittersweet for me. But I finally, finally get to have a Dreyfus Hudson <laughs> in my collection, which is awesome. Um, hopefully the cars and things come out. That's the one thing I, that bothers me. Like I said, they don't come with passengers for that price, which is really stupid <laughs> i mean for that price lionel should be giving us passengers in the cars i don't know why they would charge a thousand dollars and not include them but it, it's gotta happen so <laughs> i need that dreyfus so yeah pretty good catalog um lionel if you ever see this please john deere tractors on a scale flat car that would be <laughs> awesome but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you tony for co-hosting this with me it was fun no problem i'll have to do it again uh maybe you can buy that e8 new york central <laughs> set and the dreyfus that'd be pretty cool gotta bring you to new jersey then you can buy it yourself <laughs> I, <but. don't. laughs> I already ordered too much stuff uh but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video um again happy catalog day hopefully you ordered some cool stuff let me know what you ordered in the comments below thanks so much for watching take care